right to education, freedom to choose an occupation, and right to engage in work, non-discrimination, equality between women and men, right to fair and just working conditions. These rights are part of the Charter of Fundamental Rights of the European Union. But are they really respected? In the labor market, young people experience discrimination on the basis of age. Age is a massive factor where I work. Everyone wants to have a working experience, but it's difficult to have working experience if no one <laughs> gets you to work. Youth unemployment in the EU is 15.2%. That's double the overall unemployment rate. As quality jobs are lacking, young people are being forced into freelance, part-time, or accept precarious contracts. After the economic crisis, some European countries introduced youth minimum wages to increase young people's employability. They are lower minimum wages for younger workers. This, however, is a form of age-based discrimination. It conflicts with the principle of equal pay for work of equal value. The fact that um, we can do exactly the same job as someone that's older than us but get paid less, I don't understand how that works. The experience is the most important thing, uh, not the age. Yeah. And in a way it is unfair, but uh, I, I recognise also that if you're 16 it's, it's harder to find a job than if you're 19, for example. So it could help, but I'm not sure what effect this has in reality. As employers have become more reluctant to invest in young workers, entry-level jobs are being replaced by internships. The slavery of the 21th century. You are work. Yeah, you are in practice, but, but you are work for, for a company, so the work has to be paid. I had to do some side jobs and uh, I had to do very good micromanagement with my money. It's not the same as the normal salary, of course, but it was enough for me to not have to use savings. But I know that it is a luxury that uh, the majority of people don't get. 11% of young people in the EU are living in poverty despite having a job. A partir de ese momento, trabajos precarios. Menos de 600, 300 euros, con horarios bastante complicados y con acceso a trabajos que no son adecuados a la formación que hemos recibido. If I go to work, I don't uh, have enough money to pay an after school program because this situation I stay at home. When I came here, I don't have place to live. It's free for me to go to school. Only uh, a school is free for me. In some countries, education is expensive. And even when it's free, there are hidden costs. Transportation, school materials, and sometimes lodging. This particularly impacts young people from disadvantaged backgrounds. My parents were never able to help me with Swedish homework um, or like biology or anything because they're pretty low educated. So I've been, able, I've been forced to do all of that myself. While I have friends who have highly educated parents who can help them with Swedish, math, whatever. I work and I am a student. Uh, eight hours uh, per day, every day. As far as I know, a majority of students in Sweden take loans as well. About half my budget is uh, financed by uh, government uh, subsidies, which is great. Although the government paid for me to attend the course, I wasn't financially supported throughout the course. I think I got a total of um, £83 a month from the government to live on, to pay rent, food, bills, run a car. £83 doesn't go very far. Age-based discrimination paired with other kinds of discrimination means that it is particularly difficult for certain groups of young people to access their rights. I live with my parents. It's very hard to pay the rent here and to eat, to pay the rent, to pay the bills. It was quite tough to find a flat in X. It took me around six months to find something. Looking for a flat here, if you're black, is not that easy. I was with my girlfriend and we both had contracts and uh, we had like pretty good salaries. But the guy was didn't really want to rent us a flat. We were at the agency, we had everything that they needed. And um, basically he asked for more proof of identity than he should have. In addition, gender discrimination persists. The global average annual earnings is $11,000 for women, compared to $21,000 for men, so almost twice as low. For a full picture of what it's like to be a young person today, the Youth Progress Index was created. It brings together data from different countries to assess the quality of life of young people today. And although European countries do well in the ranking overall, they should be doing a lot better.
ஆமாம்